hello everyone till now we have completed unit 2 first topic that is bias and in this video we have next topic that is variance okay what is this variance the variance would specify the amount of variation in the prediction if the different training data was used okay it will predict the variations between the data sets that is training data sets okay in simple words Variance tells how much a random variable is different from its expected value, okay? It shows the difference, variance. Variance is nothing but difference, okay? Variance errors are either of low variance or high variance. Same like bias, we have high bias and low bias. Here in variance also we have two types that is low variance and high variance, okay? What is low variance? Low variance means there is a small variation in the prediction of the target function with changes in the training data set it means in low variance it have only small variations in the prediction of the target function okay Hi, why it is small variation because we have only little amount of data set in the low variance in a high variance we have large amount of data sets so it has it shows a large variation in the prediction of the target function with changes in the training data set okay a model that shows high variance learns a lot and performs well. High variance performs well and learns a lot. Okay. With the training data set and does not generalize well with the unseen data set. Okay. As a result, such a model gives good results with the training data sets but shows high error rates on the data test data sets. This variance works only on the training data set. It doesn't work on the test data set. Okay next here since with high variance the model learns too much from the data set with the help of high variance we can learn too much from the data set it leads to overfitting of the model by learning line learning 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 from the data set it leads to overfitting overfitting of the model means it doesn't show the proper value it shows an errors okay a model with high variance has the below problems what will happen if the model is with high variance? A high variance model leads to overfitting. First problem with the high variance is leads to overfitting and next increase model complexities. It increases the model complexities. It means it is very difficult to find the solution by using the high variance. Okay. Usually nonlinear algorithms have a lot of flexibility to fit the model have high variance. See here below three diagrams is mentioned here. First one is underfitting without uh, using high variance and next we got optimal balance. With this balance you should do the variance. For what? For the training data set and the test data set you should find the difference by using the variance. Then by, by using high variance what we are getting here? Overfitting. It means we cannot find the correct solution. Okay. Some example of machine learning algorithms with low variance are. What are the machine learning algorithms using low variance is? Linear regression, logistic regression and linear discriminant analysis. These three topics I have completed in the unit 1. Go and check there. Then only you can understand these three topics. Okay. At the same time, algorithms with high variance are decision tree, support vector machine and k nearest neighbors. Okay. These are the examples of the high variance and the low variance. Okay. Next. I have told that by using the high variance we are getting a model overfitting and a high complexity. Then how to reduce this high variance? Ways to reduce high variance. First one is reduce the input features or number of parameters as the model is overfitted. That means by using the large number of inputs we are getting the model overfitting right. So in case of using large inputs use only less inputs that means reduce the input features not less inputs but features of the input should be less here okay do not use a much complex model don't use much complex model divided divide this divide that model into two types and then we'll get a perfect solution okay increase the training data so by increasing the training data we'll get some accuracy for the test data okay Next, increase the regularization term. This regularization term, we got it in that um, what linear regression model, okay? In that, we have learned about a regularization term. That means, assume, assume that which doesn't have a value, assume and keep it on one side. 
then you can uh, estimate the values easily okay next way to reduce high bias I have told about way to reduce high variance. Now I am saying about way to reduce high bias. Okay. High bias mainly occurs due to a much simple model. Okay. High bias mainly occurs due to a much simple model. Here see the difference between these two. This high variance is occurring because of uh, big inputs or else large number of inputs features. But here high bias is occurring about due to simple model below are some ways to reduce the high bias first one increase the input features here in by high by high variance you should reduce the input features whereas in low ba uh, high bias you should decrease the you should increase the input features here reduce the input features okay as the model is underfitted next decrease the regularization term here you should delete the regularization term not delete but decrease it okay use more complex models such as including some polynomial features okay this is the difference between reduce high variance and the reduce high bias once you'll read it means you can understand easily okay next we have different combinations of bias and variance uh, mainly there are four possible combinations of bias and variance which are represented by the below diagram here once see this diagram we have <coughs> compare this okay excuse me see here uh, uh, you should see the diagram like this low bias low variance low bias high variance next high bias low variance high bias high variance okay we have four co possible combinations of bias and variance let's see one by one first one is low bias low variance what happening here low bias and low variance the combination of low bias and low variance shows an ideal machine learning model however it is not possible practically this low bias and low variance cannot be an, uh, a combination here okay it means it has low bias and low variance it doesn't show any uh, solution right right Me because it has so uh, low because it is slow and low so we cannot get any solution it is an ideal machine learning model okay Next one is low bias, high variance. Here what is, here we having a low bias but high variance. With low bias and high variance, model predictions are incons inconsistent and accurate on average. That means this case occurs when the model learns with a large number of parameter and hence leads to an overfitting. When the combination of low bias and high variance is mixed means will get an inconsistent and accurate on average data and hence it leads to an overfitting okay next high bias low variance with high bias and low variance predictions are consistent but inaccurate on average it doesn't show the accurate value it doesn't show accurate value in the high bias and low variance okay but it shows uh, it is consistent okay predictions are consistent this case occurs when a model does not learn well with the training data sets or uses few number of the parameters okay when when a model doesn't learn well with the training data set these problems will be occurred okay or uses a few number of parameters also the problem will be occurred here it leads to underfitting problems in the model this low bias and high variance leads to an overfitting whereas high bias and lower variance leads to an underfitting okay Next last one is high bias high variance this is also inconsistent and also inaccurate and average because both the cases you should not be low or high it should be a combination of low or high high or low until then we can get uh, solutions but whereas with low bias low variance and high bias high variance we cannot get a solution it is inconsistent and ideal machine learning models both okay whenever they ask about bias variance uh, differences or combinations you can write this four and you can explain with a diagram here okay next model complexity this is another topic in unit 2 what is meant by model complexity here model complexity in predictive analytics refers to how complex or sophisticated a predictive model is in capturing relationships within the data this model complexity will show the 
പ്രെഡിക്റ്റീവ് അനാലിറ്റിക്സ് ദാറ്റ് മീൻസ് ഇറ്റ് ഷോ ഹൗ കോംപ്ലെക്സ് ടു ക്യാപ്ചർ എ റിലേഷൻഷിപ്പ് ബിറ്റ്വീൻ വിത്തിൻ ദ ഡേറ്റ ഓക്കെ ഇറ്റ് ഇൻവോൾവ്സ് ഫൈൻഡിങ് ദ റൈറ്റ് ബാലൻസ് ബിറ്റ്വീൻ എ മോഡൽ ബീങ് ടു സിമ്പിൾ അണ്ടർ ഫിറ്റിംഗ് ആൻഡ് ടു കോംപ്ലെക്സ് ഓവർ ഫിറ്റിംഗ് ഇറ്റ് മീൻസ് ഇറ്റ് ഷോസ് ദ ഇറ്റ് ഇറ്റ് ട്രൈസ് ടു ഫൈൻഡ് ദ ബാലൻസ് ബിറ്റ്വീൻ ദ അണ്ടർ ഫിറ്റിംഗ് ആൻഡ് ഓവർ ഫിറ്റിംഗ് ഓക്കെ ടു എഫക്റ്റീവ്ലി മേക്ക് പ്രൊഡിക്ഷൻസ് ഓൺ ബോത്ത് ട്രെയിനിങ് ആൻഡ് ന്യൂ ഡേറ്റ ഓക്കെ ഇറ്റ് ഷോസ് ദ റൈറ്റ് ബാലൻസ് ബിറ്റ്വീൻ ദ അണ്ടർ ഫിറ്റിംഗ് ആൻഡ് ഓവർ ഫിറ്റിംഗ് ഓക്കെ Understanding model complexity is crucial for building effective predictive models. It is very crucial to learn model complexity. Here are some key aspects related to model complexity in the predictive analytics. Okay. Let's see what are the model complexities here. First one is bias and variance trade-off. Okay. We have bias and variance trade-off. Uh, what is this bias and variance trade-off means? it is a fundamental concept in predictive modeling okay it is a fundamental concept bias refers to the error introduced by approximating a real world problem which may be complex by a simple model remember one thing bias is complex with simple model variance is complex with very large model okay understood variance on the other hand measures the model sensitivity to changes in the training data okay firstly uh, this is a bias and variance trade off next under fitting what is mean by under fitting here occurs when a model is too simple to capture the underlying patterns in the training data okay it occurs when a model is too simple and uh, over fitting is occurs when the model is too large okay it leads to poor performance on both the training set and new unseen data okay underfit models may have high bias and insufficient flexibility to adapt to the complexity of the underlying relationships in the data okay next what is mean by overfitting here overfitting occurs when a model is too complex remember this underfitting is occurs when the model is too simple but here overfitting occurs when a model is too complex and fits the training data too closely capturing noise and fluctuations while it may perform well on the training set it tends to generalize poorly to a new data okay overfit models may have low bias but high variance okay remember the difference between underfitting and overfitting if they ask about the differences between these two you can write these points okay next model evolution what is model evolution here model complexity impacts the evaluation metrics used to access predictive performance okay common metrics include this model evaluation uh, have some common metrics to evaluate the predictive performance what are those common metrics include mean squared error mse okay accuracy precision recall and f1 score cross validation techniques are often employed to access how well a model generalizes to new data helping to identifying the optimal level of complexity okay next regularization techniques regularization methods such as l1 lasso and l2 ridge regularization are employed to control model complexity by penalizing large coefficients these techniques helps prevent overfitting by adding a regularization term to the model's cost function when we are doing uh, bias and variance problems we are getting a overfitting problem right to overcome this overfitting we are using a techniques like uh, regularization methods that is l1 lasso and l2 regularization okay next feature engineering feature selection and engineering plays a role in managing model complexity selecting relevant features and transforming them appropriately can enhance model performance and reduce the risk of overfitting one of the uh, reason uh, to to overcome with the risk of overfitting we can use also feature engineering okay 